I don't know if what I'm going to show you right now is an instance of really awful people feeling emboldened under Donald Trump to be honest about who they actually are and who they actually hate. Or if we just haven't advanced much and these people have never actually been all that much in the closet with their hatred, I should say. But we have a county commissioner, Ms. Warren Hurst, who was at a meeting attended by the public with cameras rolling. And all of that being true, he said this, we've got a queer running for president. If that ain't about as ugly as you can get. And by ugly as you can get, he doesn't mean what he just said. He <laughs> means the situation he just described. <laughs> and he told the crowd to wake up. So this guy apparently wants those constituents to be more woke as he attacks with just disgusting homophobia. I'm assuming Pete Buttigieg is what he's talking about yeah. there. He doesn't <clears throat> actually say the, uh, the candidate's name. But he goes on to say, look what we got running, look what we got running mm -hmm. for president in the Democratic Party. We can go over here to Haas's jail and get better people out of here than those running for Democrat to be president of the United States, which is also just great. I mean, I, presumably he supports the president who a bunch of his closest associates are currently serving jail sentences as well. Um, but so look what we got, he throws around queer as an attack against yeah. uh, Pete Buttigieg for not hiding who he is, not what, well, I, I don't know what he wants. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sure you'll get to where a lady walked out and everything. But yes. um, even as it happened, this was this was uh, uh, greeted with applause, uh, and that's why he can do it. It's 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 flipping that mindset and flipping that mob mentality of you can say something disgusting and horrific like this and still get support for it. So mm -hmm. it's what we've always talked about with, with uh, Trump and his how he's okayed racism and and xenophobia and all that. So he, he's been able and, and Islamophobia and all that. So he's been able to do that so much. That it's spread to everyone, and then you get people that then cheer this type of thing on. When the simple question could be right after that is, I mean, if you take someone seriously, fine, take them seriously and ask them. So, what is it that this queer running for uh, for the Democratic nomination is going to do because he's so gay? What's he going to do to you? Mm -hmm. What policy is going to come into place? How's he going to harm your life? Matter. Let make them answer the meat questions to their stupidity. Yeah. Because when you just stop at stupid. You can stop there, but then ask for some, ask them to elaborate about it, and they can't mm -hmm. because it's stupid. Yeah. Well, look, as you say, a lot of people. I thought about showing the video, but why? I don't see why. Why do that? Um, but yeah, people were cheering. Uh, one woman did walk out disgusted by what she had heard, and she did a little interview about it. So that's available if you want it. Um, but he was just, he was just very confident in what he was saying. It wasn't like he accidentally stumbled into revealing that he's a homophobe. <laughs> he was just very excited to do it. And um, lest you believe that he's an otherwise good guy who just also happens to hate members of the LGBTQ community. Um, he went on to say, I'm not prejudiced, but by golly, <laughs> a white male in this country has very few rights and they're getting took more every day. I mean that that and take that whole sentence, put it on a red hat, <laughs> and that is the MAGA movement. Well, um, the, the main right that's getting taken from these white guys is grammar. Exactly, <laughs> so that's that's true. But by the way, like this is proof that no one thinks that they're prejudiced. Really, nobody. He just got done throwing the Q word around, and he says, "I'm not prejudiced." By the way, I don't want you to believe that. But people like me, we we man, the government's unfair and society's unfair to us. Um, as he literally, he feels so emboldened to attack these people. If someone he's, a, denies, he's an elected county commissioner. Yeah. If someone uh, denies not uh, denies racism, uh, prejudice, homophobia, any of this before someone even accuses them of it, mm -hmm. <laughs> then you know that they already know what they are. Yeah. They have to preface the potential pushback with saying, "I'm not what exactly I sound like." Yeah. So what do you sound like? Yeah. Yeah, and look, I don't I don't know if there's any context that would have really mitigated what he said, but you should understand that he was speaking during a commission meeting about whether the county should become a gun sanctuary. I don't know what Pete Buttigieg has to do with any of that. Well, you um, know, gay people that's don't the like thing, guns, like, right? Yeah, look, I don't support Pete Buttigieg. I think he's wrong on the issues, and in particular, I hate that he used to pretend that he was in support of Medicare for all explicitly in tweets, and now spends all of his time trying to take down the candidates who are actually pushing for it. But he has every right to run for president, and I guess the fact that he's doing as well as he is, considering that he's you know a small town mayor or whatever, like he's not, he wasn't well known. Like, like part of me, as much as I don't support him, was like. 
wow, that's awesome because you know we still worry, even at this point, even in a Democratic primary, that people are still pretty bad. Even the people who are most like you are still pretty bad in a lot of ways. Yeah. Isn't it heartwarming that that appears to be one of the things that sort of dropped away as a thing that will stop you from becoming president? Um, and maybe that's to some extent true in the Democratic primary, but that does not mean that there are not a lot of horrific people who are still clinging to life with their fingernails. Yeah, the, um, you know, people complain stuff. about they complain about identity politics and stuff. And I think part of the thing that's a draw for people to judge is the fact that he's openly gay. People are like, oh, that's cool because we get to actually get to normalize something. It's very normal for that. that Throughout our history, we've hated and tried to see him as this alien figure that's gonna come and snarl and kill us. Yeah. So that's a draw for Pete Buttigieg because we're like, we want there to be some normalcy behind a human being as to who they are. Um, but at the same time, there's also anti-identity politics where they go, there's that guy yeah. that we hate. I identify against him, so they try to build a, a coalition of people to hate someone for who they are. And yeah. that's it's, it's it's if you don't like people to identify with a certain person. And then vote to them based off that, and have nothing else be their reasoning. It's this just as bad to support someone who hates yeah. that person simply because of who they are. Yeah, you're totally right. I mean, I guarantee. I don't know Warren Hurst, I really don't want to, but I know one thing. I know he hates identity politics as he points one finger at the gays and the other at man, white males have it so bad, and I hate identity politics. <laughs> hate that group. Love my group. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's the way the Republican Party works. Thank you for watching this clip from The Damage Report. For more content from the show and access to TYT Network members only exclusives, go to tyt.com slash Brooke. Wait, no, it's tyt.com slash John. Go to tyt.com slash John to sign up.